Welcome back and here's another look at downtown Cleveland tonight. Snow, it's still falling a bit. Just a reminder, you can track the city's snow plows with the new tracker. We have it up on your screen right now, and you can find that link also if you want it on WKYC.com. Betsy Kling is hardcore when it comes to reporter involvement. She walked five blocks up to Euclid. Just yeah, to see you, how things are going. And you were telling, you know, Jason and myself that things are looking a little dicey on those roads, huh, during your walk? Yeah, there's a lot of snow on the roads. And, uh, you know, downtown Cleveland, there's not anybody really coming into town to work or anything like that. So I think the crews are really kind of working on more of the main arteries that get into Cleveland. They're going to get it cleaned up. It's going to take some time to catch up. But, you know, I think the big factoid for the city of Cleveland is there are 10,000 streets. <laughs> That's a lot of mileage to cover for these uh, this little team of trucks, but they'll get her done. All right, so the snow is starting to taper off from west to east slowly as we go through the night. This is good news, so we're not going to add tons and tons of additional snow west of 71 or west of 271. The gusty wind, though, will mean more blowing and drifting snow. So even though we're not adding new snow, we still have a mess on our hands. The temperatures are going to be falling for tomorrow. We're going to stay in the teens all day, wind chills near zero. So there is a lot that is going on here in the area. There are still some tricky spots to talk about for the morning commute, and this is where the blowing and drifting comes in. So it is not like it, you can get up and expect that all the highways are going to be open and full, you know, fully open and the berms are back and nothing. This is a long process to get out of this, so a lot of tricky spots. Mostly cloudy, frigid conditions for the evening with the temperatures dropping back into those single digits. The storm up, updated impacts for you. Now this is for tomorrow. We're still going with a high impact on the roads. That blowing and drifting is going to do a number. Air impacts, they got to catch up a little bit, and I think the East Coast may start to deal with some of the delays and cancellations, so we could have some trickle-down effects from that. Obviously, school closings are going crazy, and and you can see those at the bottom of your screen. Also, WKYC.com slash closings. And power outages, now it looks like it's a lower chance for that to happen as the storm is kind of winding down. Look at how this storm stretches now from New England clear back down to the Gulf Coast. They've had tornadoes in Alabama today. Uh, meanwhile, we have an ice storm in southern Ohio back in the Ohio Valley. But you can see this dry air beginning to push in. I think we still have light snow in the forecast tonight and to start the day tomorrow, but improving conditions will continue. You can see how much the snow has backed off. So this is a big help for those road crews crews that are out working hard tonight. Farther south, though, this dark blue stripe, and you're probably going, wow, it must be snowing like crazy there. I have people who have been tweeting me, and thank you so much for all of this, and comments on Facebook, and keeping me up to date with what's going on. The radar can say one thing, and ground truth can tell another story, or sometimes it can confirm it. And in this case, we are still getting that changeover with the sleet, the freezing rain, and the snow going on down in those areas. The, uh, excuse me, the visibilities are definitely coming up. That's an improving situation, but there's that little bit of that mix, and it's kind of coming and going at this point as we kind of ride the edge of a warm layer aloft that we, we've had problems with all day. The roads are slow, but there's not a lot of people on the roads right now. Tomorrow morning, it'll be different. Here's a look down in New Philadelphia, a very icy and snowy coating across most of that area, and now they have snow falling on top of that. Canton, just looking snowy at this point. You had that ice earlier, now we're adding that snow on top. Akron, we're starting to see some better visibilities, but the damage has been done with the snow that's on the ground. Valley View Bridge, it was slick today. We heard a lot, a lot of spin outs and problems on the bridge, which just scares the bejesus out of me. But, uh, you know, those spin outs on the bridge and whatnot, uh, Whew, don't get in on that. You want to stay uh, lots of distance. Ashtabula, we haven't forgotten about you. You guys have gotten hammered in this too, and it's not lake effect. How about that? Meanwhile, out in the rain, I don't know if this camera's going to load, so I'm going to skip it. We're going to keep on going. There is that back edge that I was mentioning, and you can see how this snow continues to slide to the northeast. Here's your national design mark, hour by hour forecast. You see we get a nice break tonight, although we kind of get little surges of snow. And then tomorrow morning, we're still expecting to have some snow in the area. Look at these temperatures in the teens. Wind chills will be near zero. So that is going to be a frigid start to the day, but improving conditions in the afternoon and the evening, that is definitely some good stuff. Our storm totals haven't changed since we first put out our numbers. Maybe zhuzh just a little bit left or right, 7 or 12. Uh, but we have a high impact event that we have been through, and now things are going to get better. But tomorrow, the wind chills will not. And that's where Jason picks the story up.
Absolutely, Betsy, that wind drifting across the area. All of that snow is wrapping around the buildings, the poles, the sidewalks, the houses, everything that's happening here because we still have wind gusts topping 30 miles per hour across the area. As this load pulls away from the area, we'll have that pressure gradient kind of loosen a little bit and we'll see those winds come down. But for now, wind chills are in the single digits, as our chief was just saying. Feels like five degrees at Cuyahoga County Airport, nine Worcester, eight in Akron Canton, 10 in Youngstown. So everything has been falling the ice, the freezing rain, the snowfall. It is going to be encased in the Arctic air that is moving across northeast Ohio. As far as our wind speeds go, they're approaching near 20, 10 to 20 miles per hour. Future wind gusts, as I said before, will begin to titrate down by Friday afternoon. We're still going to have that performing north wind. This is still going to lock in a lot of cold air across the region. So as far as wind chills, take a look at this. The next 12 hours, my friend, by 6 a.m. feels like one degree here in Cleveland three to four to five around noon. So we're still going to be locked in. I've drawn this line on here. You can see where sort of this area is going to be moving on. At least this cold air is going to be moving on out. This is good news for us as we're heading into next week. We'll have all this Arctic air push out. We'll have a weak clipper system comes through on Monday night into Tuesday. This is a near miss for us, but by the end of the week, next week, we start to work in another system that we're going to be watching. So your union home mortgage seven day good news for you here. OK, take a look at this. Despite having very cold temperatures by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, even into Wednesday, we flirt if not go right above the freezing mark, which is great for new great news for us. By the end of the week, though, again, watching yet another system to come through.